Hi, this is Steve Matley. Today I'm with Kerry Bowman. He is the pastor of the Awakening Church in the Temecula Valley area. Pastor Kerry, I understand that you originally were a corn-fed Midwestern boy from Indiana, and here you are in Southern California, the land of Hollywood and the entertainment business. How did you get from there to here? I did grow up in the Midwest on a large grain farm. My brother's farm about 7,000 acres, but I'm transplanted down here 2,000 miles away and enjoying my time in Southern California. But uh, I grew up in a Christian home. My uh, mom was a solid believer. My dad was uh, uh, not someone who grew up in church, but uh, they exposed us to great opportunities to be able to know what it means to have a relationship with God. And so I served there on the farm, kept myself out of trouble and went to a local college there and began to do my studies. Was a part of a youth ministry uh, when I was in college that was a, a very broken down small group of people and they asked me sort of to lead it and so I started to take it over. And really all I can say is God sort of visited us and uh, we um, had sort of um, a powerful youth camp one summer and uh, God began to change a lot of young people's lives and that sort of caught um, captured my heart, I guess, to be able to see people's lives change and do something for God. So step by step, I moved away from thinking, hey, I'm going to be a part of the Farm Corporation, to saying, hey, I'm going to give my life to serving God in ministry. What were the steps you took to go into full-time ministry, become ordained minister? I went to some graduate school uh, uh, studies out in New York City area, north of New York. And uh, while I was there, I, uh, one of my professors um, is a fairly well-known person who travels and speaks in the world. His name's Ravi Zacharias. Mm -hmm. And uh, Ravi was uh, someone who encouraged us to be able to reach the thinking person, someone who he at one time described as the, the happy pagan kind of individual who uh, doesn't see a need for God in their life. Sitting underneath his training and just being exposed to some of the other things at that graduate school, um, I gained a heart to be able to reach out and communicate truth in a culture that uh, sometimes isn't always looking for truth, but definitely is looking for hope and purpose. I ended up doing some other graduate studies then actually out here in California and a gentleman that was in my class at the time I did not know, his name was Rick Warren and I had a heart to see dead churches come to life and I remember one day he said to me, he said, Carrie, have you ever thought that it might be easier to give birth than raise the dead? And uh, God used that as an initiative in my heart to step into the ministry of not taking an established church, but starting a church from scratch. And that's what I did. I ended up finishing up some of those studies at that time, moving back to Indianapolis. I got married and my wife, Melissa and I, we started a church on the Northwest side. I know you ran that church for many years and built it up. And at some point you made the decision to come back to California uh, the church there was very successful. We started from scratch with no people, no building, no money, and saw it uh, grow to probably about a thousand people in two different locations, people that called it their home church. I also knew a, um, a gentleman who oversaw a lot of churches for our denomination, the Christian Missionary Alliance here in Southern California, and uh, he encouraged me to come out and check out an option here in the Temecula Valley, the church that's 10 years old. We end up taking the reins of that and trying to move it forward, and so that's how we ended up being here in Southern California was just some of that impetus of God saying, hey, maybe not raising something uh, to life that's been dead, but taking something at one stage of growth to a larger stage of growth and being able to impact a, a growing area in Southern California. Many years ago, God touched my life and uh, I discovered what it meant to have a dynamic relationship with Him. I also had the opportunity to discover a great community of people who love God. And uh, through the years, I've never wanted to be anywhere other than in the presence of what God was doing and doing it with other people. We invite you to consider being a part of the awakening if you feel so led. Our tagline is becoming fully alive in Christ and to His mission. 